Hello everybody, this is Jay the Geek, and I'm here at the LEGO table to show you guys another LEGO mock. It's been a little while since I did one of these types of videos, so I thought I would show you guys this mock that I've had sitting for a little while. I've had it built, I just made a few tiny tweaks, dusted it off, got it ready to go, so I'm going to show you to you guys in this video. Let's take a look at the LEGO Shakespearean Theater mock. Okay guys, here it is, the Lego Shakespearean Theater mock. Now in my senior year of high school, this is uh, when I built this, uh, I was reading, I believe it was Macbeth or Hamlet, I think it was I think it was Hamlet that uh, was the uh, final like book report I did for high school. Um, and I've always kind of been interested in uh, Shakespeare ever since I had read uh, a few in high school. I was kind of interested just in the storylines and uh, drama of them. I always was kind of fascinated by them. Um, and there was a diagram in the book that I read of a uh, Shakespearean theater. And I was like, that would look so cool in Lego. So I decided uh, to build my own Lego Shakespearean theater. It's got the stage, got a bunch of seating in there, all different, lots of cool details that I added in. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at the outside design of this Shakespearean theater. Basically, it's just these pretty thin walls. As you can see here, they're pretty simple. They're just these uh, mostly white, uh, long two by one pieces uh, just kind of stacked up. You got two of those stacked up on either side. That's pretty much the overall height of the wall. So you got a decent height there, kind of enclosing the whole thing. Uh, not very thick walls, obviously. They're only one stud thick, as you can see there. And then they have uh, the walls, or the roofs here, covering the uh, the fancier seating. Obviously, uh, the whole thing isn't enclosed because actually in real life, uh, these types of theaters weren't enclosed um, completely. The common was basically the stand out there. If they had rain or something, they pretty much stood there anyway. The admission was cheap. That's where they stood. And if you had the uh, richer people sat in the, the uh, covered seating, uh, which I'll show you in a minute. But pretty much the same deal with the walls all around here. You can see these walls here built up here. And all around on either side, we got the stairs over here. We got three of those, because we got three seating sections where you can just walk up from here. Over here, we got uh, two guards kind of guarding the entrances. These are basically uh, figures that uh, kind of mixed and matched uh, from older. Um, they were like knights. I don't know what exactly the theme was. Uh, there's some sort of knights theme, and I used those there. So those kind of fit in with the mock very nicely and these walls are attached by these little uh, pieces down here with the uh, the tile pieces with like the singular studs I basically have one on either end so I have one here and then one here and then these actually aren't attached they just kind of sit there uh, so we have an attachment here an attachment here and then I also connected them together with this four by one piece so that you have a little more structural integrity there um, not the strongest of walls obviously because when you're angled like this it can be very hard um, to, you can't just like you know stick a brick on and be done. Um, when you're angled like this, it can be tough to really get them right. So I found that this uh, singular stud piece kind of gave me the freedom to angle it uh, the way I wanted uh, at that kind of 45 degree angle. Uh, kind of a non-traditional way to build a building, but obviously when you're building a cylinder with all square bricks, you be you gotta kind of gotta get creative there. So taking a look at the roof here, we got a big kind of thicker roof piece. This kind of makes it nice and. Uh, Kind of built up, looks kind of grand there. I really like the, how that came out with the pillars and everything. Uh, we got a little bit of some ornamentation here. We got a flag here, and actually, in um, history, they actually uh, would fly a flag um, for whenever the play was about to happen or going to happen. It was in progress, kind of thing, uh, so that people coming to the play or walking by would know uh, what was going on. So that's kind of a cool little historical detail there. Uh, and we got these little gold and silver uh, vent pieces or grates kind of all around there and then going around back here uh, I didn't enclose this uh, place completely because I didn't really quite have the necessary pieces just didn't think it would look quite as good if I enclosed it just kind of might take away from the overall look so I just kind of left it here and you don't really see that part obviously of the mock but this is pretty much just a simple backstage place got some props back here which I'll show you guys a little bit later and this piece actually just fell off, ironically. Uh, but it's a perfect opportunity to show you exactly how they attach. You can see these uh, singular pieces, singular studs. We got these this simple, very simple design here, nothing too fancy. Just kind of stick it on, and we're good to go. And there's your protection from the rain and the sun. 
uh, for your covered, more expensive seating. Let's go ahead and take a look at that covered, expensive seating down here, uh, or at least the seating that required a little bit more money back in that time. Uh, you can see the brick-built benches kind of there, and then we got the tiles uh, for the railing. Got those uh, bar pieces there, look pretty cool. Uh, add a nice look. And then built up on columns, you can see here, is the second level seating, which you get to from the stairs on the outside, which I showed you. Uh, we got a Padme minifigure actually in there from an old 1999 Star Wars set. Got a couple of Star Wars Easter eggs I threw in there because I had some extra figures lying around. Figured I'd use them in there. Got the same type of railing there and a seat so people can sit down. There's that second tier seating. And pretty much we got the same deal all the way around. We got the fancier railing, got Luke Skywalker down there, another Easter egg. Um, little details are always fun to add to mocks. Um, pretty much got the same deal. And taking a look at the third section of seating, pretty much the same thing. We got a uh, musketeer slash Shakespeare kind of looking guy, kind of hard to see back there. I don't know if you can see him. Uh, and then we got a uh, guy guarding him. And then we got the common area, which is basically just part of the base plate that I built it on. I used one of these very large gray base plates, as you can see. And I pretty much just left this as it is, because basically in real life, these were just basically common dirt area, actually. Uh, brown base plate, base plate probably would have actually been better for this. A little bit more accurate, actually, because uh, basically it was just dirt that they stood on. And they could get in cheap and they could watch the play. So let's take a look at the play being acted out here. We got a Julius Caesar. No particular real scene. It's been a while since I read that one, so I wouldn't probably be able to recall a particular uh, scene in there. But we got Julius Caesar there. We got a Roman guard and then kind of a Roman soldier type guy there and basically uh, these were just collectible minifigs from the uh, the poly bag or the bags uh, we have I have a big collection over there as you can see uh, of multiple figures so I just kind of stole a couple from there and uh, the, they have the Roman theme so they fit in nicely with the whole Julius Caesar thing Got a little plant prop there a potted plant there and up here we have the royalty seats this is where the king uh, queen uh, no high nobility would sit and uh, watch the play. They got the uh, premier seating that was kind of up uh, safe from any uh, commoners or anything going on. Uh, you can see there, take a round look from the side. You can see the king, fancy crown piece there, and just some custom built nobility figures and soldiers that kind of just uh, created there. View from the back here, you can see the custom seats. And then obviously back here, like I say, we have the props, got some helmets, got some armor, maybe a torch, you know, any props that they might need. And in the back over here, have the uh, windows kind of wall separating the backstage from the actual stage. And taking a look at the actual stage here, you can see it's raised up here. I just pretty much use uh, beige 2x4s uh, for the entire stage. Nice, made it uh, nice and large there. It's raised up two bricks high from the ground, so it gives it a nice look there. And then I use these pillars from an uh, Indiana Jones set. This is actually the Indiana Jones Temple uh, set from uh, that uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark scene. A uh, really cool set actually, but I just kind of borrowed these uh, columns, these pillars here to add to the really, I think it makes a really nice look here for the theater. Kind of captures that time period really well, I think. Um, and then we got these uh, gray pieces here because the columns actually weren't big enough, so I wanted them a little bit taller, so I just added those. I think that, I think that fits in nicely. And then obviously we got that nice big roof, like I said, up there which covers the actors and the uh, royalty down there from any rain, sunshine, so they can do the plays in the rain or the sun or whatever, whatever the weather, they can still carry on with the plays. Now let's take a nice um, aerial view here. You can see the overall cylindrical shape. I think it came out very nice. Uh, the overall shape of it looks pretty good. And we'll take another outside look uh, from this ink. I think really kind of captures it quite well. And yeah, there you go. That is the uh, Shakespearean Theater mock. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at this Lego Shakespearean Theater mock. I really enjoyed uh, building it. It was a really fun build. Um, it's been a while uh, since I actually did build it. Um, I've been meaning to make a video on it for a while. So I finally figured, hey, it's time for a Lego video. It's been a little while since I did one, so why not go ahead and share it with you guys. So, of course, if you're not already subscribed, be sure to do so so you don't miss out on geeky videos like this. I do occasional Lego stuff. More often, it's tech stuff related to Apple, usually uh, reviews, unboxings, that kind of stuff. So be sure to stay tuned for all that kind of cool stuff. And obviously, subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on it. Be sure to comment down below. Leave me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought of this mock, what you thought of the video. Again, thanks for watching. And to my subscribers, I will have a MacBook Pro review, full review video. Video, 
coming soon and maybe even some WWDC coverage. I know that's coming up, so stay tuned for that, subscribers. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that button down there so you don't miss out. God bless, have a great day, and bye for now.